In this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of the pingable envelope generator. So first, let's set up a basic voice, a single oscillator going into a filter and going into the VCA. Now normally we would use an EDSR to control this VCA, but instead of that, let's make use of the pingable envelope generator. All right, so how it works is you define a ping rate, which defines the overall length of the envelope that this module is gonna create. And that can be set by plugging a signal into the input over here, or you can just tap the button right next to it rhythmically to define the length of the envelope. So that LED flashing defines the length of the total envelope. In terms of the shape of the envelope, you can see there's a knob here. It's set in the center position, which creates this triangular shape. So think of it like an attack decay shape. So between the skew and curve knob, you can create various shapes for this envelope. There's an overall output scaling knob. Right now it's set in the center. When I set the knob all the way to the right, it's set to the maximum positive range but I can also set it to the maximum negative range. So this acts like an attenuverter. We can attenuate as well as invert the signal with this knob. Now with the bipolar switch, this envelope is going to be bipolar, meaning the output is going to be positive as well as negative. Kind of like an LFO. All right, so let's make use of this envelope. I was showing you the red side the blue side is pretty much identical, so think of it like having two separate envelopes. So I'll take the red envelope out and plug it into the CV input on the DVCA. All right, so I've plugged it in. I've also increased the scaling towards the positive, but nothing's happening yet. We have defined the length of the envelope with that ping, but we haven't triggered the envelope. To trigger the envelope, there are some trigger inputs, and we can use a gate signal, or we can even use a Metropolis gate output. But it's a lot more fun to use the cycle mode. So in cycle mode, the envelope triggers on its own on every cycle. So even though there is no external trigger, the envelope just repeats again and again, just like an LFO. There's a ping division slash multiplication option. So now the ping is twice the rate. And now it's half. All right, let's make use of the blue section to modulate the filter cutoff. So I'll take the blue envelope out and plug it into the CV1 input on the MMF. So a couple of things I need to do. I need to define the length of the envelope. So I'm just gonna tap on the ping button. Now that I've defined the length, we need to trigger this envelope. And for that, I'll just turn on the cycle button. So that's creating a pretty interesting interaction between the control of volume versus modulation of filter. So as you can see, just by playing around with the ping division slash multiplication 
as well as the skew and curve knobs, you can create some pretty interesting interaction between the red and blue section of this module. So that's the basics of the pingable envelope generator from 4MS.